the evening, it's Sunday 18th of October. I was watching London Live again and it was delightful to see all the students of drama and singing, uh, singing actually um, in Parliament Square, but the sad thing was they were wearing masks, so how they sung like that unless, because the camera wasn't on them all the time. It was um, someone who goes around London filming everything. It was live and it, oh, they sung beautifully. It was really lovely. Anyway, I'm going to do the readings of the church today that we had in church, although they did shorter versions because they always do. They cut out lines, but when I typed it up, I kept sunk quite a lot in, so it'll be a bit longer. <laughs> so the entrance antiphon. To you I call, you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Guard me as the apple of your eye. In the shadow of your wings, protect me. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Who take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The first reading is from Isaiah chapter 45. They only did 1, 4 to 6, but I'm doing much more because I like Isaiah. Cyrus, Cyrus the instrument of God. Thus says Yahweh to his anointed one, to Cyrus, whom he says, I have grasped by his right hand to make the nations before him and to disarm kings, to open gateways before him so that their gates be closed no more. I myself shall go before you. I shall level the heights. I shall shatter the bronze gateways. I shall smash the iron bars. I shall give you secret treasures and hidden hordes of wealth, so that you will know that I am Yahweh God, who call you by your name, the God of Israel. It is for the sake of my servant Jacob, and of Israel my chosen one, that I have called you by your name, I have given you a title, although you do not know me, I am Yahweh, and there is no other, there is no other God except me. Though you do not know me, I have armed you so that it may be known from east to west. I am Yahweh and there is no other. I form the light and I create the darkness. I make well-being and I create disaster. I, Yahweh, do all these things. Prayer. Rain down your heavens from above and let the clouds pour down in saving justice. Let the earth open up and blossom with salvation, and let justice sprout with it. I, Yahweh, have created it, the su supreme power of Yahweh. Woe to anyone who argues with his maker. One earthen ware pot among many, does the clay say to its potter, what are you doing? Your work has no hands. Woe to anyone who asks a father, Why are you begetting? And a woman, why are you giving birth? Thus says Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, and his Maker, I am asked for signs regarding my sons. I am given orders about the work I do. It was I who made the earth, and I created human beings on it. Mine were the hands that spread out the heavens, 
and I have given the orders to all their array. I myself have raised him in saving justice, and I shall make all paths level for him. He will rebuild my city and bring my exiles home without ransom on indemnity, says Yahweh Sabbath. The conversion of the nations. Thus says Yahweh, the produce of Egypt, the commerce of Cush, and the men of Seba, tall of stature, will come over to you and belong to you. They will follow you, walking in chains, will bow before you. They will pray to you, with you alone is God, and there is no other. The gods do not exist. Truly you are a God who conceals himself, God of Israel, Saviour. They are shamed and humbled, every one of them. Humiliated they go, the makers of idols. Israel will be saved by Yahweh, saved everlastingly. You will never be ashamed or humiliated forever and ever. For thus says Yahweh, the creator of the heavens, he is God who shaped earth and made it, who set it firm, who did not create it to be chaos, he formed it to be lived in. I am Yahweh and there is no other. I have not spoken in secret in some dark corner of the underworld. I did not say offspring of Jacob search for me in chaos I am Yahweh I proclaim saving justice I say what is true God Lord of the whole universe assemble come all of you gather round survivors of the nations they have no knowledge those who parade their wooden idols and pray to a God that cannot save speak up Present your case, let them put their heads together. Who foretold this in the past? Who revealed it long ago? Was it not I, Yahweh? There is no other God except me. No saving God, no saviour except me. Turn to me and you will be saved. All you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By my own self, I swear it. What comes from my mouth is saving justice. It is an irrevocable word. All shall bend the knee to me. By me every tongue shall swear, saying, In Yahweh alone, we are saving justice and strength. Until all those who used to rage at him come to him in shame. In Yahweh the whole race of Israel finds justice and glory. The word of the Lord. The second reading today was from St. Paul to Thessalonians 1, verse 1 to 5. I, Paul, Silvanus and Timothy, to the church in Thessalonica, which is in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. Thanksgiving and congratulations. We always thank God for you all, mentioning you in our prayers continually. We remember before our God and Father how active is the faith, how unsparing the love, how have not spoken in secret. How persevering the hope which you have from our Lord Jesus Christ. We know, brothers loved by God, that you have been chosen because our gospel came to you, not only in words, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with great effect. And you observe the sort of life we lived when we were with you, which was for your sake, the word of the Lord. The Gospel was from Matthew 22, verses 15 to 21, on the tribute to Caesar. 
Then the Pharisees went away to work out between them how to trap him in what he said. And they sent their disciples to him, together with some Herodians, to say, Master, we know that you are an honest man, and you teach the way of God in all honesty, and that you are not afraid of anyone, because the human rank means nothing to you. Give us your opinion then. Is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus was aware of their malice and replied, You hypocrites, why are you putting me to the test? Show me the money you pay the tax with. They handed him a denarius and he said, Whose portrait is this? Whose title? They replied, Caesar's. Then he said to them, Very well, pay Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and God what belongs to God. When they heard this, they were amazed. They left him alone and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening. I'll do the everyday healing prayers in a moment.